Oh, ladies and gentlemen, it's great having you back because uh, you guys know it's great to be in the Empire today. Per usual, in today's video, we're talking about a new feature location coming to Marvel Snap very shortly, the Quantum Tunnel. And I hope you guys like pulling slot machines because baby, everyone's running Lockjaw, it looks like, for the next upcoming days, whether you like it or not. We're going to go over 10 cards that you, sh you should be looking at if you want to maximize the best use out of these feature locations. Personal experience, feature locations, if you know how to utilize them, you, this is when you can get the best climbs possible. My first time making Infinite uh, a few months ago, I took advantage of Collapse Mine and Rickety Bridge. I skyrocketed to Infinite. So if you know what you're doing, this might help you get the Infinite. So let's talk about it. Uh, but before I do that, I want to talk about this real quick. I saw this on the front page of Reddit. I thought this was interesting. Uh, there's apparently some sort of booster magnet coming where if you want to upgrade a certain card, because right now when you play a game, the boosts are random. You don't know what you're going to get. You might want to upgrade a particular card. Maybe you love Daredevil. I don't know. Iron Man. But you don't want to upgrade, I don't know, Blockjaw. Let's just say, since that's our topic for today. Uh, apparently, the developer's saying next patch, they're going to have some way to make it booster targeting easier. I think the easiest solution would just be make boosters a generic thing, and then you just need credits to upgrade a card. Boosters per card seems kind of like a weird format. Maybe that's what they have in mind. But I thought I'd put that on your radar. I digress. That's not today's topic. The new location feature location which for the next few days so high likelihood you're going to be seeing this the quantum tunnel and it's basically lockjaw whether you want to run a lockjaw or not you're basically going to be running a lockjaw here quantum tunnel when you play a card here swap it with the card in your deck so it's basically a free lockjaw the first thing i want to know is how is this going to look when you place lockjaw on there then lockjaw calls in a card and then the, the lockjaw gets kicked out as well so it's going to be kind of interesting you're basically going to be trying to filtering through your deck and trying ideally Pull out the big power cards that normally would be hard to play pulling out some reveal effects and then putting the cheap cards down the translate try to exchange for a better card onto the fields so we're gonna throw a few examples your way and again when it comes to this you don't want to just build a deck specifically just this because you might not see this uh, location but you want to have maybe some things in mind whatever deck you're running for some theory crafting potential first thing that came to my mind uh, when you think of a traditional lockjaw deck obviously lockjaw is in a variety of different things uh, you might not have this one. I actually, I was lucky. I got this card for free in a collector's reserve really early on in my Marvel Snap openings, which is crazy. But Thanos, that's the first thing that comes to mind of all the stones, and especially when you're playing Quinjet and whatnot, making these stones practically free to play. You can just keep dunking in on the Lockjaw and try to bring up some bigger power cards as we're going to show. So you put in the cheap cards, you want to get the expensive, powerful cards onto the field so if you're running thanos i think this is probably one of the best times to run him i wish this card was a little bit better thanos should be a lot more powerful i think Galactus, feels feel like is kind of at, in the sweet spot of what a series five or a big daddy evil villain should be I, I don't know but right now at least i think Thanos is gonna love dunking some stones down the quantum tunnel but let's talk about other things so again we want to put cheap stuff in and get the stuff out i like the stones it's gonna activate their effects you put them in you get something big you want to start throwing some freebie food. So Wasp is a free card to throw in. So if you want a chance, you put that coin in, you put the you pull the lever on the quantum tunnel, you might put in Wasp and you might get infinite out of it. So we're looking for, again, cheap cards are the best way to utilize this event, this particular location. Wasp, it's a, literally a free card. So again, it's gambling, it's a slot machine. You might get something you want, or as we're going to say, you might want to get a card that just activates an effect and ruins your opponent's day. Other cheap cards. Wow, what an original thought, Arnold. Well, you truly are gods get the mobile gaming. Yes, I know. We don't need to be sarcastic here. <laughs> Iceman, very cheap card, played everywhere. Imagine you play the Iceman, you whack him with the cooldown or uh, cost increase, and then you pull out, I don't know, Magneto. You pull out Giganto, something of that sort. Or you pull out some other cards that we're going to talk about, or whatever the big win condition card is in your deck. Iceman's going to be an obvious one. Same thing. Wow, I wonder what I'm going to say next. Wow, Scorpion, you're just a genius at this. I know. I know. I'm the greatest mobile game player we know. That's a great honor to have. Same thing. So let's say you play Wasp and Iceman. Boom, you're going to get two cards onto the field. Play Scorpion next. Hits them with the power reduction. Puts the card in the, the slot machine. Boom. You might pull out something else that's helpful for you. So again, we're trying to put out a lot of cheap cards, but what about some other stuff? All right, so cheap cards are one thing. Hood is another example. Putting in Hood, get, get the effect off and then getting him off the field. But what about things where we want to activate their effects and then we just don't want to see them ever again? A lot of examples out there, but one example is Electro. Electro, you just want to get their on reveal effect and you want them gone because they hold you back and because the ongoing effect stops you from playing more than one card. So with Electro, this could be great for a lot of people. 
throw down the electro on the, the quantum tunnel he's gonna activate give you that plus one energy goes away and imagine you might pull out electro again just drawing your card or maybe the quantum tunnel pull out electro again so you might be able to get a few instances of extra energy into your deck i wouldn't be surprised if people play electro it gets put away and then electro gets brought back by one way or another and then you have two energy inside of your roster in your inventory your war chest to take on your opponent in the same vein mr negative once you play mr negative you kind of don't want anything else to do with mr negative so you hit the guy put him in the quantum tunnel get to all of your power and cost to swap and then you don't have to worry about him putting that negative one power onto your side of the field then maybe you get something a lot better out but okay cheap cards cards of great reveal effects that really are kind of crappy to have in the field let's talk about the last bit of this video the last three or so that we have and then we're going to talk about some counter things in case you don't like your lockjaw and you want to kind of mitigate the randomness here we'll talk about that the cards you want coming up we already kind of talked about it you want to get cards that have amazing reveal effects amazing ongoing effects big power that's the best if you can put in a wasp and get an infinite it doesn't get much better than that my friends but here's some other ideas you have leech let's say you know pretty early on you can get leech onto the field leech is one of the more annoying things i've seen in the lockjaw deck you're like you're like fine have your high powered cards but the second you're leeching me randomly off a lockjaw pull it gets frustrating so this is going to frustrate people when they're trying to make combos happen you hit them with the leech as early as possible you can run tons of high power plays also on that getting odin to come out would be fantastic because let's say you got a couple of on reveal cards that the quantum tunnel pulled out well if odin gets summoned through the quantum tunnel or you play odin you can activate all these effects so again traditional lockjaw stuff nothing mind-blowing but being able to have odin come out hit the effects again imagine leeches on the field odin shows up hits him with another leech you're gonna annoy your opponents right so if you have a lot of on reveal stuff don't be scared to have odin to maybe come out and hit those on reveals again or even let's say this something a bit more pragmatic you're playing a traditional wong deck with lots of on reveal stuff you got iron heart or whatever iron heart comes out cool scans gives you a couple power odin pops up later can hit that iron heart again so keep that in mind you're, you can try to get these on reveal effects to hit multiple times and as you said the, the list goes on and on for this obviously one of the biggest things you're going to try to get is the high powered cards infinite you normally can't play very difficult to play but a lot of times a traditional lockjaw deck will pull that infinite from that deck put it on the field for free but you, you can think of giganto magneto red skull a lot of other high powered cards that's the best thing you can see if you see cheap cards in your hand that means all the expensive cards in your deck and as you're placing the ice man the hood the wasp you're just gonna get a lot of these high power cards onto the field of course watch out for shang chi that's the biggest thing you got to worry about if you're someone that likes to have some counter things to this uh it's gonna be a little tricky but i think the biggest thing is if you don't want to go through the lockjaw shenanigans and your opponent wants to just having storm storm rhino scarlet witch uh anything along that vein magic is probably a little too late if you're playing magic you know it's the, the 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 quantum tunnel did its job already at that point but with storm if you this is like this storm's always the counter to any sort of location that you don't like use the storm you hit it and no more lockjaw shenanigans so a few things to keep on your radar what's the whole goal of quantum tunnel it's basically just a lockjaw in a location format low cost cards in big cost cards come out of the quantum tunnel in exchange big reveal effects to ruin your opponent's day that's what we're shooting for and you know what i got a little bonus for you i can't believe it marvel snap was referenced in a marvel movie was this you the other day when you saw cosmo in the new guardians of the galaxy trailer look at that look at we see that good boy for the first time i can't believe it first marvel snap crossover <laughs> joking of course but let me know what your guys thoughts are how are you gonna take advantage of this quantum tunnel how you feel about these more targeted booster upgrades i actually am kind of curious what they have in mind for the next patch and as always make sure you drop a like for our cosmo you either love him or hate him i think everyone loves him he might frustrate you sometimes but you still love him how could you be mad at that cute face i don't know but guys thank you so much for stopping by leave that like comment down below be a part of this ever-growing empire and always truly remember how it's great to be in the empire today